However, dispersal by water is not always successful, since many of these seeds are especially high in protein and fat, and this makes them attractive food for many animals. In most forests, birds, mammals and insects are the usual seed eaters. In the flooded forest, however, fish are the most important seed predators. The tambaki is the largest fish that is a seed eater. It reaches over a meter in length and can weigh more than 30 kilograms. Tambaki have huge nasal flaps which help increase the flow of water into the nose, thus enhancing their keen sense of smell. This helps them to locate fruiting trees by smelling them out. Seeds have evolved various ways to protect themselves against predators. The rubber tree seed is encased in a shell nearly as hard as that of a Brazil nut. This protects it against most animals. Amazingly, the tambaki has incredibly strong jaws and massive molars that are reminiscent of those of a horse. With this specialization, the large fish is able to crack the hard nuts to get at the nutritious kernels inside. When rubber trees are fruiting, tambaki lurk beneath them to take the seeds as soon as they fall into the water. These giant nutcrackers destroy a large part of each year's crop. Fish can also be seed sowers. The seeds of fleshy fruits often escape being cracked in the fish's mouth and pass unharmed through the gut. This journey through the fish may also fertilize the seeds and help in their germination. High water is a time of plenty for fruit-eating fish. They accumulate large amounts of fat in their bodies as an energy reserve that can be used when food is scarce. These fattened fish also make good food 